Hey guys, uh, Tiz here from Tool Fitness. So for today's exercise of the week, we will be going through the plank. So I'm gonna show you how to do a plank and what to avoid in a plank as well. So in terms of the muscles that you work for a plank, it's essentially a core exercise, a really good core exercise. You're also gonna be working a little bit of your lower back as well, because they act as a stabilizer, not to mention a bit of your shoulders and also your lower half of your body. But just remember, primarily, it's a core exercise. So to go straight into it, I'll show you how to perform a plank, uh, plank properly. So what you want to do is get into position, best way is to kind of go on your knees, get your elbows under your shoulders. From there, just lifting up your knees and then planking away. So essentially, you're just holding it here. A good thing to do as well is bracing your core. That way you're really getting the most out of it. So while you're doing plank, what you want to avoid is having your bum up high. So this can be quite often, uh, quite often done by beginners as well. Um, so what you want to do is just lower it down and you also want to avoid sagging too much as well. You'll also find that if you sag too much, it really does hurt your lower back. So just bring it up to where you're comfortable, holding it there, and do as long as you can. Now, if you do find the plank quite hard to do, what I usually recommend is do it for as long as you can, even if it's five seconds, you just slowly build up. If that's still really a big issue for you, what you can do is just plant on your knees, once again, elbows under your shoulders, and that way you're putting a little bit less stress on your lower back and your core and just build up from there. Now, if you want to make a plank a little bit harder, so if you go back to a normal plank here, you can do what we call reaches. So we quite often do this at Chisel Fitness and just forcing to use one side of the body a little bit more or you go to what we call taps, plank taps. So just tapping out to your side and if you want to involve your lower half, going into leg lift. So with this one you want to keep your bum down still as well or we also have what we call plank jacks. Right, after that one, if you've mastered those then you can move into what we call a side plank. So this is definitely one of the harder ones to do. You want your elbow once again under your shoulder. You want your hips up. So it's about a straight line, straight through. This hand can be up, can be down, whatever you're comfortable. Foot forward, foot back. I tend to have mine on top and this is what we call a side plank. So give that a go, hopefully you found some tips from that, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next week for the next one.